Hi, I'm Rebecca. I can't do it. Hi, I'm Rebecca Farnell. I'm a senior research chemist. I work for Seba Specialty Chemicals based in Bradford, West Yorkshire. Worldwide, they employ about 13,000 people in about 140 countries. Um, however, here in the UK, we have three sites with about 2,000 people. As a whole, Seba's products are about adding a small amount for a large effect. So where Seba's products are used are actually all around you. And from the second you get up in the morning, you automatically start using products that contain Seba products. So from shampoos and conditioners and toothpaste. For the girls, every time you put a bit of makeup on, or for the boys, if you fancy putting makeup on as well, you know, they, they all contain Seba products. Water treatments is a big area for Seba, so cleaning up the sewage, making sure that when you turn the tap on in your house, the water that comes through is clean. Seba manufacture Ferrari Red and Coca-Cola Red. The department I work in really are focusing at the moment on trying to develop uh, the raw materials that are already being used by SEBA but from an alternative source so that we're not being dependent on crude oil because as everybody knows crude oil is on the decline. I work seven and a half hour day. Um, I generally try and start about half past eight in the morning and work through till five o'clock. We work a 37 hour week on a full time basis. However, for research staff, we do get to work on what's called flexi time. I can work any time between 7 in the morning and 7 in the evening, so my hours are very much up to me. I get 24 days holiday a year, plus a full week off over Christmas, which is always good. The whole site closes down for a whole week, so there's none of this coming in between Christmas and New Year. As a research chemist within the chemical industry, you can probably expect to go in as a graduate on about £20,000 a year, um, which is slightly higher than an average graduate wage. Um, although we still don't think it's, it's quite enough more money for the chemists. As part of my wage, we get pension, a company pension, which is actually quite a good pension. Uh, Boopa, private healthcare. Um, and we also get a fantastic Christmas bonus scheme, um, which is based on percentage of your wage, but it's a guaranteed bonus, so your Christmas is always paid for as well. <laughs> I chose to be a research chemist uh, because I was sat at school and just was really bored of being sat behind a desk, to be honest. I'd spent 16 years in education and just felt as if there had to be more to life. I had a fantastic chemistry teacher who had previously worked in the industry and he got us all really enthusiastic about chemistry. So I started for SIBA when I was 16 and went to college and university one day a week, worked within SIBA for four days of that week. Um, it was really tough, but on the plus side, I finished university with no student debt because all of my fees had been paid for by the company. I'd been earning for seven years, so I'd had a wage, I'd managed to buy myself a car. But also, I had seven years' fantastic industrial experience where I just learnt so much more from the job. I got 11 GCSEs, grade A to C, and I then made the decision to leave school and go and work for SEBA as a lab assistant. Whilst I've been working for SEBA, I've been to Bradford College, for two years studying for a BTEC National in Chemistry and Physics. At 18 I then transferred to the University of Huddersfield and studied for my degree which was a five-year course on a part-time basis and I graduated with a first-class BSc honours in Chemistry with Chemical Engineering. But I wouldn't advise any school children to leave school at 16, stay and get your A-levels because I ended up feeling as if I wanted to do a maths A-level additional to working and additional to part-time study. So you definitely need to be dedicated and committed because sometimes you can have 150 bad results before you get that one good result. You've also got to be incredibly motivated because some of my deadlines aren't until 2017. You need to be quite a sociable person because you, know, you have got to network and, and cooperate with a lot of other people. Science is everywhere in my job, you know, thinking about what experiments I'm going to be doing, thinking about the projects as a whole, you know, what, what sort of chemistry could fix that problem. The best thing about my job is getting that good result. After weeks or months or even years of trying to fix a problem, suddenly you get that one little result that's just the big breakthrough that you need. Why science and chemistry? Because you get to solve problems, it's fantastic. You know, it might be a two-hour problem or it might be a two-year problem, but at the end of it, you've fixed something, you've, you've solved that problem and, and you can go away and go, yes, I did that. You know, so one of the first projects I worked on was coatings for CDs and DVDs. And it's nice to see when you're working on a supermarket and go, ah, oh, I was involved in making that. You know, that, that's there because of some of the work I did. And it's so nice if you're actually making a difference in the world.